Um, this poem was written by one of the best South African writers. I don't know the name, and it's performed by I don't know the name. <laughs> the mind gives birth to a thought at the stroke of midnight. Yes, the mind gives birth to a thought at the stroke of midnight. It surely must have been few moments before witches came out to play. They were tantalizing, stroking against the agitated brain cells of the mind that could not sleep. Born at the riverbanks of poverty. She stood motionless, waiting for the destiny train to take her to the end of the page. But when she finally realized that the premise of the train's arrival was as empty as that of free education and free housing, she changed her mind to her shoelaces so that her thoughts could be closely tied to her only mode of transportation. She wrapped the blanket of light around her waist so that it could guide her out of tomorrow's because she knew. Most definitely because she knew she stood at the beginning of the end and no one could drink from a cup. No one could drink from a cup. Not even that man who claimed her as a wife. He became, but, he became nothing but a mere speck of soil like a crane of sand that irritated the eye every minute of the nine months that she cursed the poison into the tomb of the womb. As you can imagine, it was painful. It was as painful as the reconnections of her unrecorded past. Therefore, together, she and I, stand at the foothills of this mountain, we record the present tense of a midnight thought. Yes, we document her partner's dreams of unborn babies dragging their own medical court. He had nightmares. That would mean he had nightmares that haunted every corner of his mind. I, therefore, he had nightmares that haunted every corner of his mind. I, therefore, after midnight, he stood outside of himself just to check his guilt in the death of his daughter. And when he finally realized, he bound his guilt to his wrist so that he could remember, so that he could remember his role every time he labored with his bare hands. As for she, she understood the dreams of the few in the palm of the hand and released them into her own will. And I, I, I always wanted to tip into her fantasies. I always wanted to tip into her fantasies. I always wanted to tip into her fantasies. But my each and every step, my each and every step, my each and every step became nothing but the thorn in the fresh and sensitive errors of her heart. To God she prayed. To God she prayed that her story should be told, but not in metaphors. Letting down the eardrums of the history she prayed against all in sunsets, blessed by the truth of blue tomorrows, that I should deliver this midnight thought. She prayed against all in sunsets, blessed by the truth of blue tomorrows, that you should hear this midnight thought, as her mind gives birth to a thought at the stroke of me.